Hey there, I am Reshma. In this video, we are going to discuss on how you can add widgets to your blog page. Uh, in my last few videos, I discussed WAMP server and WordPress installation. Also, how you can install a theme and create post page and gallery and everything. So, widgets are also a very vital part of our websites. So, we'll learn today how we can add widgets to our blog page today. Um, if you are one of those bloggers or the one who regularly go through blogs, you might be familiar with this sidebar over here, recent posts, recent comments, archives, categories and everything. So how do exactly you get them on your sidebar is what I'm going to discuss in this tutorial. And here um, I have removed some of the widgets from what you have seen in the previous page uh, just to show you how I'll be adding up and you know uh, you can see those changes over here. So let's get started and go to our dashboard. Under appearance, you have got widgets, click on it. All right, this is the widgets. These are the available widgets over here. Categories, archives, meta, pages, recent comments, recent post, and everything. So let's add something to our primary widget area. Before that, let me tell you, I've got a secondary widget area and my theme comes with three photo widget areas. First, second, and third. Let me show you up when you'll scroll down you'll find these three photo widget areas okay so that comes along with the theme that I have installed Andrina theme so if I want to put something at my footer I can do that from here so let's get started and add widgets to our sidebar um, let's start with recent post so to add a widget what you can do is either you can click on it and from here you can select in which widget area you want it to get displayed okay I want it at the primary and then I'll click on add widget and it will be added here or the second option what you can do is you can simply uh, drag this thing over here and drop it okay it's very easy you just need to drag and drop so I've dragged the recent post here now you can provide with a title also, you can choose the number of posts that you want to show up. Uh, if you want to show 10, you can write 10. If you want to display the post date along with your post, you can check this box and your post date will also be displayed. Now click on save. We'll see the changes. All right, here you have got my blog post and along with the date in which I have posted that post. So this is recent post now let's add recent comments for that again drag and drop you can provide with the title also you can um, restrict or also you can choose how many comments to show up if you want to show up up to 10 you can write 10 or 6 or any number whichever you feel like is apt and then click on save again we'll go and refresh and we'll see the changes that it brought uh, okay so this is the recent comment I've only got one comment and that too is the WordPress default comment <laughs> uh, now let's add meta again we'll go here and add meta mm -hmm. now let me tell you what is this meta uh, meta is like you have got those login um, logout site admin and WordPress links over there uh, which if you have not displayed on any other parts of your website you can put that thing over here so we'll simply click on save we don't want to provide a title and then when you will refresh you get this over here you see site admin logout entries comments and WordPress link uh, you can provide those links over here so this is basically meta now I'll show you to add a video to your side widget for that uh, you have got this very important thing text this is one of the very important widgets you have got so what I'll do is I'll take this text and drop it here uh, under my secondary widget area okay and then if I want to provide with the title I can do that now here uh, you can do anything you can write some text or if you want to write a welcome message you can put it over here if you want to show up a video also you can do that so I'm going to show you how exactly you can put up a video I've got a 
iframe code here with me which i'll simply copy and put it over here okay i want to adjust the width so i'll put it like 280 and maybe like 280 again <laughs> now i'll click on save now when i'll go and refresh come down yeah i've got this video over here you see so this is how you can add videos to your sidebar so this is very interesting you can uh, put up your videos if you want to put it up and this is your video thing you can do that from text now let me show you something like photo vegetaria uh, i want to provide with a search under my first photo vegetaria so i'll just drag and drop it here and again if i want to provide with some title i can do then click on save again i'll go and refresh and when you'll come down you have got this search box over here under first photo vegetarian now let's say i want to add something to my second photo vegetarian so i want to add a calendar so i'll just drag and drop it here again if you want to provide with some titles you can do that and then click on save then when you will refresh and come down at my second footer widget area you have got this calendar every post you make will link up in this calendar and your visitors can you know uh, they don't need to go with the long archives they can just simply click on any of the dates and if you have made any post on that particular date that will be showed up to your visitors so this is the same thing you can do uh, with the third widget area as well third photo widget area so this is how you can add widgets to your blog page and you can add um, as many as from here you know if you want to add rss feed and uh, tag cloud you know tag cloud is uh, it will show up all the tags that you have made on your post and then you've got this custom menu you can add a custom menu to your sidebar and i guess i have added every everything over here so I hope this video will help you adding widgets to your sidebar and so try it and I hope you will come along with the same results that I have got in my website. And in my next video I'll be showing you how to create a custom menu. So I hope you'll go and try this thing and thanks so much for watching this video.